a volcanic explosion anticipated in Grendevik. The town has about 3,500 residents, and they've all been evacuated as a safeguard after thousands of earthquakes rattled the area over the past 48 hours. Streets left crumbled, the town now deserted. Seismic activity, the shake, has declined, but the threat now lies in the volcanic activity. An explosive eruption would send ash into the atmosphere and could potentially alter flights worldwide. It happened back in 2010. Fox Weather's Nicole Valdez is following this story. Nicole, uh, developments coming out every moment, and it looks like this eruption could happen at any time. Amy, that's the fear, unfortunately. And on top of all those evacuations you just mentioned, we now know the popular tourist destination, the Blue Lagoon Geothermal Resort, is among those things that have now been closed as a precaution, a really sort of bracing for the potential volcanic eruption here within the coming days. So truly, this is just uh, further evidence that uh, those across Iceland are sort of preparing for the worst here. Uh, thankfully, what we have seen today is some progress. I think officials trying to allow the residents of that town uh, Grendevik of about 3,400 or so people to try to go back into a defined area, really only along the eastern uh, portion of that city, to try to get anything they may have left behind when they were initially evacuated on Friday. That can include valuables for many people. That's pets. So that's been happening yesterday. Uh, but truly, an incredible amount of earthquakes we've seen every day for the last two weeks. 4,000 in a matter of 48 hours. But since midnight on Sunday, the Icelandic Meteorologist Office reports 900 earthquakes. Again, maybe all smaller in, in, you know, perspective here, but look at what some of these have done. I mean, you can see here the roads have these massive cracks through them, splitting them in half. The same goes for so many homes in that community. I mean, as people were going in, I've heard and seen a lot of reports all over social media of people reporting just the absolute destruction that they've seen trying to get back into their homes to grab anything they could in the very few five minutes that they were allowed with those rescue crews to get that done. Uh, so this is a, a really ongoing situation here, Amy. Part of the threat remains to be uh, what scientists are monitoring, which is a buildup of magma, one that they now believe has traveled underneath the town, maybe six to nine miles long is the estimate right now, but they worry that with that explosion, all of that magma could reach the surface and, of course, destroy that community. And this is not something that I want to say is unusual in terms of, you know, eruptions for Iceland, considering they have some of the uh, largest amounts of volcanic systems in the world. But the only historical precedent we have for an explosion like what we could be looking at here was more than a decade ago. You're looking at video here from April of, uh, excuse me, actually back in 2010, if we can show that video here, um, that essentially had the impact on travel that you were just talking about, Amy. Millions of people stranded across the globe. Transatlantic travel, uh, travel really came to a screeching halt. More than 100,000 flights um, canceled at that point. And so this could be a very similar turnout in terms of travel uh, for if and when this happens. Of course, we know an aviation alert has now been put in place. So unfortunately, it really is only a matter of time. Officials say that this uh, eruption is imminent and could happen in the next several days, Amy. Yeah, it's interesting when you think about Iceland. Um, it's it's pretty big. It's 40,000 square miles. It can fit inside the state of Colorado. But this area that they've evacuated is about 164 square miles. It's a small area, biggest uh, town on the southern peninsula. But um, nonetheless, this is something that completely could wipe out their town. So it's interesting to hear sort of the perspective of on what's going on. And then this eruption, the magna has now come about a half mile from the surface. So. This is definitely a story to follow, and it could have big impacts across the globe. Fox Weather's Nicole Valdez, thanks for the update. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.